the avatar up against the avatar avatar Aang. oh i like i like how, i freaking love that show man that is like one of the best tv shows ever is it an anime i like to think it's an anime i don't care if it was made by french people it's an anime to me it's freaking awesome I know I never got into um, Korra. Um, I seen some clips from Korra, and it felt. I know I. I thought it was milking it. Like it was just. The Legend of Aang was such a great story, and it was it's good. Uh, I just felt having another series kind of milked it, and so I I kind of stopped watching it this will send you to space this dude's all over the place trying to get the items and knock him out of the I don't even know what the items do oh, okay I, I literally don't know what the items do yeah like uh I like mu music oh they just fell off the stage oh, okay Yeah, I, it was kind of world building, Carl. Hey, I, I don't know. It's, it just didn't. I heard I heard bad things about it, and I just felt it, it just kind of lost. It was more world building and stuff, and it wasn't really. I don't know. Oh, it's like when you see the characters older, like Toph is older and Suko is older, and I'm like, no, I don't want to see it. They were good as children. I don't care what they look like as adults. It's going to make me feel older. <laughs> it does. It really does make me feel older seeing characters aged. And it's like, ah. Admittedly, I do like the shell move that um, Michelangelo does. It's really good. I don't even know what the frames are on it, but it looks cool. Oh, I dropped. Was that a rage quit? Did the avatar rage quit on me? Did did the avatar rage quit? Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I decided to jump, ju jump. I decided to jump into a nice. a rank match, and I'm going to play, you know, the rank mode. So no items. Well, I can't remember if any items are on this. But yeah, it's just my skills against Nigel Farnbury. Like I said, like I didn't really get into Nickelodeon. Like, I think my brother was more into it because I remember watching the Wild Far Farm Bros, and it was kind of funny. <laughs> I do think Nigel is really funny. Is he top tier? Is he top tier in this? Is he the strongest character in the game? The incredible Nigel Farnberry, the Steve Irwin of cartoons. Spacing and just knock him out. We're at a high percentage at the moment. So if you didn't know, high percentage means we can get knocked out easily. I'm in the red. That means you can just one shot me and it'll be really easy. If it does like a harder hit. So the more higher the percentage, the easier it is to knock out the character. You gotta do a hard hit to knock him out. There we go. Okay, okay. Cool. Uh, you know what? I am having fun. I am. I would honestly, I would play Smash Bros, but I just don't have a, a Nintendo Switch. 
and I would love to. But then again, I heard so many bad things about the net code. This is great net code. I'll be honest, like I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm loving the rollback, really am. But like, like yeah, um, let's say like 2012 net code. I can't be dealing with it. Can't be dealing with like 10 year old net code. Like we, we all can't. We're sick of it now in these games, especially the fire team game genre. Heck no, it's getting ridiculous. If any game, especially, I, I say now, like in 2022, any game with uh, delay based, it's going to be just dead. It's going to be stupid. And especially in 2023, if we still have delay based net called fighting games in 2023, you can kiss that goodbye, you know what I mean? I have noticed it. Oh, this, this dude's pretty tough. I have noticed the fact that it's longevity. Good net code does create longevity. People are like, oh, it, it, it is, and it's going. No, it does. Like, I am interested in playing Melty Blood a lot more. Oh, blocking. Oh. Yeah, I am really more interested in it. I, I can't struggle a little bit with the um, the jumping. The jumping feels weird to me. So yeah, I have to get used to this. It's, it's a bit odd. I still not figured out my main so far. I'm liking Mikey. I like Michelangelo. I like his moves. I love ninjas and. I love turtles, so yeah. I love turtles. Man, this dude's like... Going on forever, ain't it? Trying... It's like trying to go up with me. Oh, oh snap, okay, uh... Oh, okay, so he's trying to body slam me. Oh. Try and body slam me. So if I go to the top, he's just gonna body slam me. But we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Chichis, Chichis. Michelangelo, Mikey for the win. Okay, brother v brother. Ready? I like if that was like skins, like I know in the Turtles movie they have like a, a skin. Is slightly different on each of the turtle characters, and that's cool. They have like these like spots and marks on them, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I the sta I don't like the stages all that much. I feel some are okay, but I get think a lot of the stages, which I, I found out that a lot of stages are not tournament viable. And I really sucks, I'm like, and I noticed that some stages in this game is like, really, I feel I'm fighting the stage more than the character. But yeah, I should mention it, like this game, I think Smash and... And Tekken, I almost forgot, Tekken. The stages in that game really changes the dynamic of the game. Like, and I like that, I like more games, especially fighting games now, where the stages change how you play. They change how you Don't even think about you do stuff. 
Like one stage could be filled with walls, one stage could be easy to do combos with. Maybe instant deaths, I don't know. Does Mortal Kombat have instant death stages? To me, I think this is too small of an arena. It's not like great enough. Here's some free platforms. Looks like it's free. Don't even think about it. With a floor. I think the the items they regenerate too much. No, they respawn. They respawn too much. I feel. I think it's a bit too fast. Because there's always an item on screen. I'm like, eh, I don't like it. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Items respawn a bit too much. But you know what the thing is? I don't know what the items do. And I kind of struggle. Like, what the hell is it supposed to do? Maybe I need an instruction manual. Say, what do the items do? You know, like, the Raptor Shiny. car is just, you know, like, speeds run through the whole stage. But it's just weird you have a Raptor car with, and you have Raptor in the game. And I'm like, no, that's not good. I feel it's like, it's too, they look too similar to each other. And I think you shouldn't have an item that looks similar to your opponent. It makes no sense. It's just confusing. I, uh, I believe in a certain iconography and certain imagery. It's like, if you play a character who has red, and um, there's like a stage you're in a volcano, or you're in a red room, it's not good. So you got to think of, in terms of game design, I feel like you got to think of what you're going to... The stages have to suit the characters and the colors as well, you know what I mean? You have a character who wears all black and it's like a really dark stage. It's like, yeah, so annoying. Uh, this dude's pretty good though. I don't know what the items do. I'm like really surprised and amazed at what, what's happening. Ah, uh, GG's, GG's. I am enjoying this game. I am. 